energy from renewable sources than is economically reasonable to do. And NV Energy refused. That's why the original Chinese plan to buy these 9,000 acres has failed, at least failed this round. Harry Reid will revive it again. Harry Reid never gives up on these plans. That's right. He's That's right. Chinese. Just because the Bundy Ranch won today doesn't mean BLM is going away. I mean, the this guy, uh, Corns, who has been appointed heading of the BLM, was formerly a, um, a top advisor to Harry Reid, has spent the last few years in BLM doing the sixth state study in the Southwest of how to convert huge areas of the Southwest to solar farms. And again, they're not worried in moving the you know, endangered species to uh, another habitat, which they called mitigation of the effects. Uh, the environmentalists are happy to do that. If it's to build a solar uh, farm owned by the Chinese, they just won't move this tortoise if it's uh, to the benefit of a rancher who wants to graze cattle. That's right. Uh, They've done that over and over again all around the area of Las Vegas. They've moved tortoises out. They, they got money from developers there and said, that's fine. You pay us money. We don't really care about the tortoises. Yeah, the tortoises are just a chip in the game. That's right. Uh, the left and the environmentalists don't care about the tortoises. It's just a way of using the BLM and the EPA to impose this ideological agenda against carbon fuels, which is absolutely an irrational agenda. I mean, it's, you know, again, you see it in the hysteria over um, the UN's Climate Commission coming out again and saying all these disastrous consequences are going to happen because we burn <coughs> carbon-based fuels. Carbon-based fuels are perfectly natural. They're a product of the earth. They can be burned in a clean fashion. They have nothing to do with dinosaurs, more lies. But the, the, the left, the Democratic Party, and the radical core of the Democratic Party, Al Gore through Harry Reid, have found a way to make billions of dollars personally, millions, by scamming the American people into this climate hysteria, thinking the carbon fuels are bad. In the meantime, inviting the Chinese to come in here and build billions of dollars, taking land away from ranchers in order to let the Chinese run solar energy farms, which are not productive, not economically competitive with hydro hydrocarbon-based fuels, but yet in the ideological agenda of the Democrats, they believe they can sell this lie to a dummy down American public that doesn't know the difference and will be scared by climate hysteria. You know, the world's going to end if we burn coal. Well, no, it's not. But yet in Harry Reid's agenda, that narrative is important for Harry Reid and his Democratic crony corrupted uh, buddies in Congress to become millionaires and billionaires just like Al Gore did. Exactly. You know, it, it's not just about China now. As you pointed out, uh, WND has reliable information that the battle, uh, that the Bank of China has continued to advance plans to convert China's holdings of U.S. debt into equity. That's what we see happening with China. But of course, it's not just even with China. This is crony capitalism. This is where giant corporations come in, buy special favors, get the government to run out by regulation all of the small businesses. We've seen this pattern happen over and over again in many different industries. But what's happening here is that Harry Reid has put his minion, the guy who used to be a senior policy advisor to him, in as head of the Bureau of Land Management, which they now see, I guess, as the Bureau of Land Ownership. And they are now trading these mineral rights that they find throughout all this property, the water rights, the surface rights. They're trading those all off to their their giant corporations, and of course, then getting massive campaign contributions from those same corporations. That was what caused them to back down, was shining the uh, light on these cockroaches, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and look, I'm sure it was Harry Reid that caused the back down. Harry Reid doesn't yeah. want this That's right. being brought to light. I mean, but look, the Democrats, Obama, the corruption within the Obama administration is, uh, is enormous when it comes to energy. Again, remember, it was the all these cylindras, these, you know, right. Half a billion dollars that were funded by Obama in the stimulus bill all went to bundlers, you know, Obama supporters and funders. Money slipped under the table, campaign contributions to Democrats. And what happened is that all these solar panel Democrat funded firms went bankrupt because the Chinese undercut them in producing solar panels on the world market. That's right. Which was inevitable. And now China Hang on right there, Dr. Corsi. We're going to be right back. 
Dr. Jerome Corsi from WND, he's going to unpack for us what is really going on with the selling of America to the Chinese and the transfer of ownership to giant corporations. We'll be right back. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body, supercharge your health at alkavision.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again. That's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I have Dr. Jerome Corsi from WND on the phone. Now, he's written extensively about China playing their debt card. This is a, an article from January 20th, 2013, a little over a year ago. He said, China poised to play the debt card for U.S. land. And we've seen how that plays out in places like Nevada, where we shined the spotlight 
on the dirty dealings of Harry Reid, and they backed down. That's not us saying that. That's the Americans Against the Tea Party saying that. They said it was likely pressure from upstairs, in other words, Harry Reid, rather than weapons from the field that changed his mind on the matter. And, of course, the person who made that declaration, who backed them down, was the very head of the BLM, his former, Harry Reid's former minion, uh, still his minion, but his former senior policy advisor, that would be Neil Corns, who is now the head of the BLM. But we wanted Dr. Jerome Corsi to get on and flesh this out for us, because this is a project, it's not, it's not for sure that they are not going to come back and get involved in this project, but we also have seen First Solar breaking ground. And this was also involving the Bundy Ranch because they saw the Bundy Ranch in the Gold Butte area where their cows were grazing as a quote-unquote mitigation area, essentially a carbon credit, if you will. Keeping that area pristine, getting the cattle off, getting uh, abrogating his rights so they could move ahead with these projects. They all referenced this particular ranch, this rancher who's the last man standing for 20 years. They needed to get his rights, his grazing rights, his water rights out of the way. So they can move ahead with these crony capitalist projects. One of them is going. The other ones will be going as well. They have many projects there, but it's all over the country. Dr. Jerome Corsi, we were just talking about what's going on with China. This debt card where we're transferring control of U.S. land, U.S. assets, and the BLM is a major part of that. Well, that's right. I mean, the, this entire uh, green energy scam, and that's really what it is. I mean, the... For you know, decades now, the the far left has tried to push this agenda on America uh, in its antipathy to carbon fuels, thinking we're going to destroy the world if carbon fuels are burned, which is nonsense. Or the fossil fuels are they're not fossil fuels; they're naturally produced by the Earth on an ongoing basis, been burned for thousands of years, and we're still here. Uh, but yet, if you can get solar panels, you can accomplish several goals the far left wants to do it. Can take an Agenda 21 grab of getting any independent ranchers off of land. It can move the Chinese in, which, of course, the Democratic politicians are happy to receive campaign contributions and kick off, kickbacks. Remember, it goes back to Clinton and all of his Chinese buddies and Al Gore being yeah. funded under the table. Guy Wong. And, so now you've got the, you know, Harry Reid playing the game. And Harry Reid in Nevada has been waging a war since about 2005 against any carbon producing uh, power plants, which are cheaper, more efficient, better for the consumer in Nevada. Harry Reid's closed down any number of them. In fact, one of the, the Mojave generating coal plants that Harry Reid wants to use for this Chinese land grab near Lofton, Nevada, was where. where one of the Mojave generating stations was located since 1965. They destroyed that plant, coal producing plant. Now they're going to move in the Chinese solar panels. Well, the Chinese undercut effort number one by the Obama uh, corrupt gang, which was Solyndra and the other bogus solar corporations that were funded with billions of dollars in stimulus money, went bankrupt when the Chinese inevitably produced cheaper solar panels on the international market. Now the Chinese want to come into the United States and dominate you know, the energy market with, again, the scam of taking huge quantities. because It takes massive amounts of land for these solar plants to be able to produce energy. And then they don't work because even in Nevada, the sun doesn't shine all the time. They're highly inefficient. Country after country around the world has shown that they cost more to produce you know, these solar and wind facilities online with backup hydro uh, power generation when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. It's all a scam, but Harry Rich can get rich at it. He can, Harry Reid can make sure he lines his pocket. Al Gore became a billionaire on this nonsense. And the left has an ideological agenda, which, you know, again, goes back to the left even wanting to control the this whole carbon tax scheme that they were going to impose on us until all the fraudulent emails got disclosed from the EU showing the climate science underlying all this renewable energy nonsense is largely fabricated junk science made up by fraudulent scientists and universities left oriented often paid to do it absolutely right thank you dr jerome corsi for exposing the light on these plans on the graft and corruption that we see happening here 
This is across the country, and people need to wake up to it. It makes a difference. It backs them down. Thank you so much for reporting on what's going on with the Chinese and Harry Reid. That's Dr. Jerome Corsi, WND. We're on the march. The Empire.